Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about distance formula. Any point on a Cartesian plane will have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Example, we have these two points here, A and B. A has an x-coordinate of 3 and a y-coordinate of minus 2. And B has an x-coordinate of minus 5 and a y-coordinate of 4. Now let's say I wanted to calculate the distance between these two points, A and B. That's where our distance formula comes in. So we're going to say the distance between these two points, AB, is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Before I can put any of these points into this formula, I find it helps me to label this one x1, y1, this is x2 and y2. So let's see now. x2 minus x1 squared. x2 is equal to minus 5 and x1 is equal to 3 squared plus y2 is equal to 4 minus y1 is equal to minus 2. So if I had to write minus minus 2, it will become plus 2 squared. Minus 5 minus 3 will give me minus 8 squared plus 4 plus 2 is 6 squared. Minus 8, as we all know, is minus 8 times minus 8, which will give us positive 64 plus 6 squared is 36. 64 plus 36 will give me 100. Now you'll notice in these steps here, I left out the square root. That means what we have calculated this 100 is AB squared. AB squared is equal to 100. But we don't want AB squared, we want AB. So AB will be equal to square root of 100 which will be give you 10 units. Let's try something a little bit harder. Let's say I have two points, um, P and Q. Let's say I have P, which has an X value of minus 5, a Y value of 6. I have Q, which has an X value of minus 9, and a Y value of Y. So we don't get the y value there. And I've got the distance between these points, PQ is equal to 5 centimeters. So as we learned in the previous example, the distance between these two points, PQ, is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared will give me PQ squared. As always, let's label this one x1, y1, x2, and y2. Now let's substitute these points into our formula. So x2 is equal to minus 9. Minus 9 and x1 is equal to minus 5. So that would be minus, minus 5 will give me plus 5. Squared plus y2 is equal to y minus y1 is equal to 6 squared will give me pq squared. pq as we know is equal to 5 centimeters. Minus 9 plus 5 will give you minus 4 squared plus y minus 6 squared. That squaring a binomial will give us y squared minus 12y plus 36 is equal to 25. 5 squared is equal to 25. I'm going to now take out these brackets and I'm going to move this 25 onto this side. So we get minus 4 squared is 16 plus y squared minus 12y plus 36. And I'm going to move this 25. Positive 25 will now become negative 25 is equal to 0. y squared 
minus 12y. We've got 16 plus 36 minus 25 will give us plus 27 is equal to 0. We want to solve for y. But as we can see here, we've got a trinomial. And when we solve for x or y, and we have a trinomial, we know we have to factorize. So open up my two brackets, put my y, put my y. I've got minus 12y plus 27. So I'm going to have minus, minus. And if we factorize that, we'll get y minus 9, y minus 3. From here, we can see that y is equal to 9 or y is equal to 3. Let's do a very quick recap. To work out the distance between two points, let's just call those points example A, B. So the distance between these two points, A, B, will give you the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I know it seems tricky, especially if you're in grade 10 and you're doing this for the first time, you're doing analytical geometry for the first time, you've never seen this before, it can get a bit tricky. But as always, when we do anything else in maths, practice, 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 until you get it right. In my next video, I'm going to show you the midpoint theorem. Until next time, superstars, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.